वेलकम टू ई पीजी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर मोहिंद चंद डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड होटल मैनेजमेंट कुरुक्षेत्र यूनिवर्सिटी कुरुक्षेत्र डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द सब्जेक्ट टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी पेपर ट्रैवल एजेंसी एंड टू आर ऑपरेशन आई टी प्रिपरेशन एंड टू आर पैकेज डिजाइन मॉड्यूल एट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रैवल एजेंसीज लेट एस स्टार्ट विद लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड the concept of travel agency various types of travel agencies know the importance of various types of travel agencies let us start with the introduction the travel industry have a key part to play within the tourism and hospital industry as a vital component of tourism industry travel agencies has faced many operational and managerial changes over recent years and needs to constantly evolve in order to continue to meet the needs of tourist and diversity of distribution channels in the volatile tourism business environment thus understanding how a travel agency operates remains competitive and meets the needs of clients is essential for any employees of a travel agency and those who want to join this vital sector as career it is important that learners appreciate the complexity of working within a travel agency organizations and the wealth of skills and knowledge needed to be successful this module aims to develop an understanding about different types of travel agencies operating in the tourism industry this module also appraises the students to know in brief activities and importance of different types of travel agencies types of travel agencies the travel agency business is no longer amorphous over the last four decades the pattern and structure of travel agencies have changed considerably to meet tough challenges in the international tourism market today travel agencies are operating at two levels namely retail and wholesale however they are of different types meaning and concept of travel agency the travel agency sector of the tourism and tourism industry is an important what frequently overlooked influence on many issues related to tourism studies marketing tourism planning and development financial management and consumer behaviors are among those areas to feel such influence travel agency forms a dynamic industry sector characterized by expansion intense competitions merger and acquisitions all of which have pivotal to industry development and product offerings over the past 20 years many travel agencies have looked to other countries for business expansion they have been several merger takeover between two or operators in the usa japan china uk germany and elsewhere in other countries which have brought both advantages and disadvantages for many industry players for several years the indian travel industry has been characterized by the intense competition which has resulted in many merger and acquisitions of travel agencies the emergence of a sophisticated and innovative tourism industry was a key factor in the growth and development of international mass tourism with the travel agency sector in particular leading the way in both creating and meeting the needs of tourists more recently of course a variety of factors including the increasing supply of no frills flights advances in information technology wider spread use of internet and a more confident and experienced traveling mobile have all contributed to an increase in independent travel however the continuing role and influence of travel agencies should not be 
underestimated, particularly the pivotal position they occupied within the tourism system. Moreover, to cope with the changing tourism industry market environment, numerous travel agencies have been emerging in the tourism marketplace, such as independent MNCs, retail, wholesale, online, outbound travel agencies, handling travel agencies, niche travel agencies, mass travel agencies, etc. Let us discuss the various types of travel agencies. The travel agencies are classified on the following basis. The first, on the basis of distribution chain. According to the international institutions for the unifications of private law, travel agency can be of two categories. An intermediary travel agency. It undertakes as intermediaries to act for another in obtaining either a journey or a possible in return for the price for the services. An organizing travel agency. An organizing travel agency undertakes to organize for public a journey or so join compromising a series of services. Second, on the basis of functions. On the basis of functions, first, retail travel agency. Retail refers to all the transactions which involve sale of goods or services to the ultimate consumers. A retailer is a middleman who procures goods from the wholesalers and sell it to the final consumers. They form a vital link in the channel of distribution of products as well as services because without him, neither the products, neither services would sell to the distant places nor would it be possible for consumer to buy goods and services of their choice. They have a much stronger personal relationship with the consumers and deal directly with the people of varied tastes and temperaments. They form the last link in the chain of distributions and give the final selling price to the product or services. The retailers provide important services and solve the problems of the manufacturers or tour operators and wholesalers on one hand and on the other hand consumers. Second, wholesale travel agency. Wholesaler may be defined as the middleman who operates between the producers and the retailers. Wholesaler refers to the any individual or business form selling goods or services in relatively large quantity to the buyers or the retailers other than ultimate consumer. Thus, the manufacturers who sell their products and services directly to the retailers may also be regarded as wholesalers. The specialized knowledge and skill of wholesaler increases the efficiency of the distribution network. Moreover, the wholesalers provide important services and solve the problems of both manufacturers as well as the retailers. Next, on the basis of tourism flow, outbound travel agency. Outbound travel agency provides the services for the outbound tourism. They are specialized expert in product knowledge, providing different type of services, handling travel agency. Inbound travel agency, it plans organized excursion travels. It offers a package to the destination level, a represent to our operator at the local level. Then on the basis of business or leisure, Laser Travel Agency, it serves holiday makers mainly with package tours. Then Business Travel Agency, it arranges travel for business travelers and corporates provide extra services such as uh, reporting and travel management. Next, on the basis of level of specialization, NIST Travel Agency, usually small independent travel agencies specialized in certain products or certain suppliers complete based on expert knowledge, then mass travel agency. These are known as big travel agencies like multinations offering wide range of destinations and products 
with large suppliers network compete based on the economy of scales next on the basis of geographical coverage multinational multinational travel agencies operates at global levels these companies are providing the different type of services at various locations not confined to the one country but the different countries it must be emphasized that the headquarters of these multinational companies are located in the their home country there are four categories of multinationals corporations one multinational decentralized corporation with strong home country pressure second a global centralized corporation that acquires cost advantage through centralized production whereas cheaper resources are available next an international company that builds on the parent corporation technology or r&d fourth a transnational enterprises that combines the previous three approaches then the national travel agency travel agency is serving the needs of the customers nation wise a company that conducts its affairs in its home country a national corporation is often taxed differently than a foreign corporation and may be required to pay duties or fees on the import tent of its product typically a national corporation is able to conduct business in order states or other part of the country where it has filed its articles of associations next regional travel agencies regional travel agencies are specialized in certain geographical regions often combine different type of products and services next on the basis of number of outlets multiples these companies have multiple outlets not in one country but different countries selling package holidays these forms have a chain of establishment prepared throughout the country under a single name unlike minipuls and have a huge number of clients due to their scale marketing strategies and associations they may also be involved in other aspects in tourism then multiples these travel agencies are focusing on a particular region can offer also business travel services together with package tours sales these are the companies that have branches scattered throughout the local areas what sometimes operate under different trade names these have head office and may acquire independent forms to run turn them into one of their outlet then independent independent travel agencies usually cater for a special or niche market independent agencies have a single outlet and usually specialize in a particular niche area so to cater the needs of residents in an up market suburbs or concentrate upon a particular area or group on the basis of business model offline travel agencies these travel agencies operating through the physical offices and face to face client interaction provide the services to the clients then online travel agencies online travel agencies serving the different type of clients through the world wide web channels online travel agencies are relatively recent innovations and a major growth sector in the global distribution system online travel agencies are a form of distribution mechanism where a large number of sellers and buyers are connected by a web site provided by an independent third party the leading international otas are travelocity owned by subway survey travelocity includes the brands world choice travel in the corporate market different type of travel companies operating through the different type of networks providing different type of business orbits also operating on the same lines they provide the laser brands hotelclub.com rate to go.com next on the basis of size small scale travel agency these are 
retail travelers see specifically and they are operating at a small scale. Their market is confined. Their segment of market is also confined. The product range is very narrow. They generally hold small stock of products of regular use. Such retailers are very large in number. What account for a small portion of the total retail business? Small-scale travel agency is a very common, simple, flexible way of distributing the products to the final consumer. It incurs low operating costs and is usually owned and operated by a proprietor. The most important feature is that the small-scale retailers have a direct and personal contact with clients. This form of retailing faces the problems of small capital, lack of professionalism, and low purchasing power. Next, medium-scale travel agency. A medium-scale travel agency typically result from the slow and steady growth that result from a successful small-scale travel agency as a company earns more revenue. It sets aside the capital needed for the buildings, equipments, and more employees. Eventually, bridging the gap between the small business and the large corporations. A travel agency business with 100 or fewer employees is generally considered small, while one with 1,000 to uh, 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 999 employees is considered to be medium size. Large, next, large scale travel agency. These are those uh, travel agencies which are operating at large scale. Their segment, the product lines, and the market is very wide. They have a fixed line of business in which they have invested huge capital. Such retailers are not very large in number. This form of retailing involves high operating cost and lacks personal contact with the clients. But it involves more of professionalism in selling the products as well as service through the use of various promotional techniques like advertising, publicity, sales promotion, etc. Next point, on the basis of the form, sole proprietors. It is a business owned by an individual. Its debts, obligations, and taxes, known as liabilities, are the owner's personal. It operates a very small scale. Its boundary is confined within a ter- small areas. The owner must report all the incomes on his or her individual income tax return. Expenses such as advertising, bank charges, equipments, depreciations, insurance, office supplies, rent, utilities, and other costs of doing business may be deducted from income before taxes. Next, partnership. Travel agency being seen on a partnership basis is jointly owned by two or more individuals. The cash possessions and other items of the value known as assets and all the obligations like liabilities are shared equally by each partner. Each owner is taxed according to his or her share of profits. The partnership form of business organization enjoys the following advantages. Easy of formation. Partnership is a very simple form. Inexpensive. It is easy to establish, easy to operate, no legal formalities are involved and no formal documents are required to be prepared. Only an agreement is required. Next, combined abilities and judgment. The skill and experience of all the partners are pooled together. Combined judgment of several persons helps reduce errors of judgment. Next, direct motivation. There is no difference between the owner and the management. In fact, ownership and management of business are vested in the same person. Thus, every partner is motivated to work hard and to ensure the success of the business. Then, close supervision. Every partner is expected to take personal interest in the affairs of the business. Different partners can maintain the personal contacts with the employees, clients, and others. Next, flexibility of operation. Partnership business is free from legal restrictions and government control. Partners can make changes in the size of business, capital, managerial structure, 
without any approval the activities of the partnership business can be adopted easily to changing the conditions in the market then next form of business corporate corporate travel agency is owned by the shareholders stakeholders who are represented by the board of directors unlike a proprietorship or partnership a corporation is considered to have its own identity separate from that of its owner legally it is person by and of its the biggest advantage of this form of business is limited liability that corporation provide for its shareholder shareholders of a corporation are not personally liable for the contractual obligation that's negligence or wrongful acts of the corporation the most money that a shareholders can lose is his investment in the corporation the value of his stock another advantage of a travel agency corporation that it can have a perpetual existence which means it is a separate person in the eyes of the law this means investor do not have to worry about the investment it also allows the corporation to plan for the long term finally one of the greatest advantages of the corporation is that it is easy to transfer ownership interest in the corporation the board of directors can authorize the issue of shares of stock in exchange for investors capital infusion into the company next form of travel agency on the basis of services first full service travel agency these type of travel agencies offerings all services and products related to international as well as domestic travel they are offering holidays business travelers individuals group and others they may be situated in different areas concentrate on leisure travels large agencies serving commercial areas will concentrate on business travel corporate business travel agency these are specialized in serving the travel needs of the business or corporate clients in that sense they deal with work related and incentive travel an in house travel agency differs from the corporate travel agencies in the sense that they work with only one corporate accounts doing mainly business travel but also handling the leisure side for corporate clients specialized agencies result of specific market needs serving the needs of specific market segment such as senior citizen incentive groups adventure travelers people who are intermediaries between the retailer and the clients are known as specialized channelers they may represent either the clients or the suppliers and include incentive travel forms meeting and conventions planners association execution and corporate offers incentive travel forms put together and sell travel as an incentive to increase sales they sell their ability to design promote and manage incentive travel programs other spe- specialized channels are employees who buy travel services at efficient cost for their organizations let us discuss a summary in the tourism and travel business different players are there they assist individual or group wishing to take trips planning itineraries making transportations hotels to our reservations obtaining or preparing year tickets and performing related services the travel agency provides retail services and to our operator is wholesale business in the travel market a wholesaler buys products from a vendor and resell them to another business a wholesaler does not sell products to the general public the to our wholesaler assembles the package vacations and offer it to retail travel agency to sell it to the general public travel agency can be viewed as an organization set to achieve specific activities coordinating and integrating the use of resources to accomplish the organizational purposes of selling travel however a handful of travel agencies have 
proven that there are still instances where a travel agency can find a traveler and even better one. Many traditional travel agencies now have full service web sites so that travelers can get the best of both worlds. Convenience of self-service online booking with the benefits of taking to a real person when travelers need it. In this model, an attempt has been made to describe the various types of travel agencies operating in Indian tourism industry. Thank you very much for watching EPG Parsala.